Welcome back to The Witcher 3. We continue our journey on Skellige. Um, we've been doing a lot of different adventures, different side quests and things there. Went into the Cave of Dreams and all of that fun stuff. Um, we've been having a good time. So we're going to continue on. Let's get our recap and hopefully we get to go see Yennefer pretty soon. As Yennefer of Bengerberg told it, there had been a magic explosion in Skellige. Related to Ciri's reappearance, it had destroyed a vast swath of forest. Geralt set out for the Isles to join the sorcerers and seek further clues of Ciri's whereabouts. The druid Ermion, however, had no intention of letting Yennefer examine the woods, so Geralt and Yen sought out Jarl Kraken Krait, who helped break down the druid's resolve. So. Okay, so we'd Oof. already decided. Yeah, sure. All you gotta do this. is renounce your family and go back to her. Nay, never. My wife, my son, I'd strip them of honor, condemn them to poverty. You've got to break the spell, Witcher. Let her die. I mean, yeah, just being told that, like, you know, you have to go back with her. Like, no. Like, no. We talked this through. I said so. Be it. Let's see how this goes. You might deserve to be punished, but not this way. Fine, I'll do it. Thanks be to the gods. Don't bring the god. J O N N A. May it be quick and painless. Oof. Yeah, no, we didn't want her to die. It's just like. She kind of gave us no choice, so that's kind of how it must be. So? Did it work? It did. Your son should recover soon. And Yona will die. Thanks, Witcher. A thousand times over. Did I kill our alchemist? My son's dearest of Damn all it. to me. I couldn't abide it if he died. Your reward. Will you eat with us before moving onward? No. Not in the mood. Not in the mood. I mean, that's fair. Not very cheery after that. Oh, look at the horses. Oh. Time to see Yennefer? Or time to do another side quest? Because, like, we have a bunch of side quests still. Yeah, so we have like a few of these. Like, this is still like a level 15 quest. Like, I should do this as soon as possible. Look for a thieves camp near the obelisk. Yeah. Kra. Someone stole his family blade. Kulu. Is they like go to Yennefer? Let me see. Where is this? Is this like simple or just. Yeah, that's like right up there. We can do this and then go to Yennefer. I feel like that's reasonable. Kill the thieves. Okay. Don't know what you came here sick and wonder. But that's what you find. We'll fix you soon. Don't be fret again. Go. He's chopping him in half. Any treasure? Here we go. Oops. Please just loot. Committing take all, not a strong attack. Thief's journal. Brynold, fat as a seal for winter yar, with a maw that reeks like a cesspit. But your head, brilliant. Making a mold of the key with a lump of clay. Damned clever. Can't believe I didn't think of it myself. I strolled right into the armory after dark. Coolio was lying there, right where you said, in a case wrapped in oilcloth. What a blade. Fits your hand like a toothsome la Fits it nicely. <laughs> Stared so hard I didn't hear that fool Olaf coming. He would have caught me had he not tripped and smacked his gob into the ground. Seems the gods are looking after us. 
Very descriptive, I'll say. So now we've got to sell the blade. And that won't be easy. Not got that kind of coin, and them who don't... Them who do don't want to cross crack. Luckily, my brother Yaren knows a merchant fellow named Gimri who always finds willing buyers for second-hand goods. Sounds like we have a new destination. Which path am I supposed to go on? Wants me to go this way? Okay, sure. A lot of places to go. Ooh. What is this? Yep, see, another quest. What is this? I don't know if I should do this right now, but let's see, let's see. What happened? What happened, damn it? Is that I fell and cracked me damn leg in two? Stop whining, Pudder. I'm ashamed to hear it. Pull yourself together, man. Worst case, Henrik will whittle you a wooden leg. Old Ola's got one, and you don't hear him complaining. Old Ola's also got lice. Stinks and leaks out of both ends. Yet he don't complain about that either. You two gonna help or no? Uh, what happened? How do you fall? We set out to light a fire there. The top of the statue's shoulders. For our own glory and that of our ancestors. Looks like you succeeded. Aye, but the fire won't big so quick. Petter jumped back. Lost his balance. Got lucky anyway could have broken his neck falling from that height. This statue, what is it? An altar to the god of warriors. Any man who dares climb it and light the fire gains the favor of the gods. Fame and... And an excellent chance of snapping his leg off at the arse. <laughs> are you gonna help me or are you gonna continue preaching? All right. This celandine should help you. Won't mend your leg, but it will make it hurt less. Thanks. Our undying gratitude, that gets you. The gratitude of a dying man in my case. Enjoy it while it lasts. Shut it and show me that leg. Thanks again. Gods guide you. Short and sweet. Should I go climb it, or...? <laughs> I do appreciate that some of the side quests are just very short. Makes it a lot more exciting when some of them are just like crazy long and like a whole thing. Or like kind of related to the main story. Thank you guys so much for being here. Yeah, welcome. Like there's a lot of places to discover around here, but we have business. This game just goes. We haven't even looked at the DLC yet. Guys, we're not kidding. We're gonna be here be here a minute. This reminds me of like a certain fort in Skyrim. I feel like over uh, over in like the Reach. I don't know, I feel like I remember it because I died there a lot. I got like two of these. I don't know if I should have two. Svenar, I've got good news and bad. I'll start with the bad. Me and Gimri went to Lugos, gave us the welcome custom demands, mead and meat aplenty. But as soon as we unwrapped Kulio from its leather and asked how much he'd give us for it, he ripped the blade from our hands and knocked us both on our asses, calling us thieves. He then sent us running from his house, hounds at our heels. Gimri runs slow, so they got him. That's fine, only means a bigger cut for us. Now here's the good news. We still got the sword, and now I know how to get rid of it. I talked to Steinfin, me brother-in-law, and he'll sell Kulio in Novograd and split the coin with us after. I know, I know, but I swear you can trust him. I'll give him the sword on the beach by the whale cemetery on Ardskellig. I'll go alone, so as not to attract attention. Watch out, Lugos might have sent a messenger to Care Troll to inform them of the theft. Just in case, hole up somewhere. Maybe with Antilde? She's not right in the head, but you can rely on her anyways. 
Cheers, Yuren. Harpies got their nest here. Harpies, huh? The whale graveyard? Where is that? Who made that be? You're blind! Plain to see, it's a witcher! A monster snare, eh? What's it doing here? It's a friend of the yarns. Maybe come to visit. Calling Geralt. Ah, it. hey! Rude. Oof. Oof. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Are these the people I need to talk to? Oh. What? Who's Olaf? Oh. <laughs> Olaf here? Oh, this is Olaf. Ah. What is it? Retrieve the property you lost. Kill you? Thanks be to Freya. Where'd you find it? Northern part of the Isle, near the Whale Cemetery. Don't ask me how it got there. Long story. At any rate, don't need to worry about the thieves. They won't steal ever again. Your reward. Sure as hell earned it. And a lot a bit more from myself. If Kill you'd not been found, I'd have had to wash the shame away with my own blood. How much? Some big money. Maybe. You're mad, woman! Praise the passing. Mad, I say! Maybe. Okay. But I've got good reason. She's got good reason to be mad. <laughs> So we have made it to Yennefer. Let's see what's going on here. I hold battle, are you you going? Going? You yes. Can hear you two clear on the other side of the island. Good! May all Skellige know, Yennefer of Vengerberg is a common thief! Control yourself, Druid. I haven't stolen anything. I've merely borrowed something and fully intend to return it. Oh, really? Ha! The generosity. Just one small problem. Once used, the mask is rendered completely worthless. Not to mention the risk you'll bury us alive and all the Isles with us. Uh... It's fine, I'm sure. Don't exaggerate. It's just... No, Geralt. This is no just. The myth is that Urborus created the mask when the envious seas swallowed his beloved. Unable to bear the prospect that he would never again see his betrothed, Urborus made the mask, which would allow him to peer into the past. He knew, however, that he could only use it once. So he waited. Waited until his longing grew so strong that it became unbearable. When the sea learnt of the mask, it was quick to respond. It made known its threat that whosoever used the mask would bring the sea's wrath down on them. For in vengeance, the sea would rise and flood all the lands and drown the living. Uh, that sounds good. So, how'd you get it? Where'd you get this mask? Sailors from Clan Dimmon pulled it from the sea, near the Njord Trench. Yeah, but how can you be sure this is Urboros's mask? Its appearance is exactly as described in the myths. You believe the myths? Only ignorant fools belittle their significance. Besides, it's not the myths that are on trial here. It's the thief. We do have permission? Do we? I think we do. Probably. Theft or no theft, Kroch gave us free reign. First off, this might indeed be his isle. But we, the druids, watch that no alien magic takes hold here. Secondly, after the cataclysm occurred, Kroch turned to us for help and trusted this site to our care. Third! What? What was that? No. 
Jennifer's used yeah, the Yeah, I don't mask. think she's asking for permission, unfortunately, for this guy. We must neutralize the mask. I'm sure it'll be fine. It's good. <laughs> Just swooping around. What was that? Unicorns. Damn it, Yana. I uh -huh. saw the foglets. I meant how they get here. The power of the mask summoned them. Yeah, he's mad at you. Ermion says the mask might cause a natural disaster. Fortunate he's here then. He can jump right in, try to tame it. Realize he won't let this pass. Oh, I'll survive somehow. Okay. What now? The mask reveals the past, but only in certain places. Places where past events left a strong magical imprint. Take it. Want me to wear it? Yes. I'll cast a spell that will let me see through your eyes. Weird, but okay. Well, let's go. This way. Already found the first spot. Okay, prepared for use by placing it in an appropriate slot in the inventory panel and selecting it from the quick access menu. Gun huh. cold. This is the spot. Put on the mask. Any instructions? Keep it on until you've seen everything. And don't stray far. Telepathy is limited in range. Okay. What's that? A portal? Two people emerged from it. The woman was Siri. How can you oh. know? The way she moved, like a witcher. Seems they went that way. Come, let's find the next spot. You crossed the wrong sorceress. Come on. Ready? Use the mask. Watch out! What do you mean, watch out? Was that a voice? What was that? Was that a thing? Hmm. A magic explosion oh, of some sort. So powerful that even the echo was dangerous. I wager it destroyed the forest. But Siri and her companion weren't harmed. I saw them escape. Let's see where to. This is creepy. I don't like it. Nor do I. Anyone here when this happened had a slim chance of surviving. I know what you're thinking, but don't worry. Siri can take care of herself. Okay. okay. But yeah, what? Don the mask. Someone chased Siri. See that? Might have wounded her. She escaped. Through another portal. Know where it led? Magic residue trail leads to Vela. Any chance you can figure out where Ciri's companion fled to? His portal's gotta be nearby. I'll try to find it. Come. Ooh, come on. Hey Raven, welcome. Well, ready? Use the mask. Okay. Nice fight. One repelled the other with powerful magic, then fled through a portal. A mage? Most likely. 
It's Ciri's companion and the one who wounded her. How do you know? I don't. Making an educated guess. They both appeared in the previous visions. Ciri's got a powerful ally. The mage who was with Ciri fled too. Nowhere? Hmm. His trace path leads to Velen as well. But the target coordinates of his portal differ from those of Ciri's. The explosion must have disrupted his teleportation. Hmm. Ran into Kira Metz in Velen. Coincidence, maybe, but she claimed a mage came to her looking for Ciri. Be surprised if it wasn't the same one. Okay. Whoever he is, he grows more interesting by the minute. Interesting. Maybe something left of the one who got hit by the spell. It's clearing up. Ermion must be getting a handle on the weather. Which means he'll be free to attack us again. Are you pleased with yourselves? Look at what you've brought down on us! We'll see what Krach has to say about this. Uh, well... He agreed to help us. Sure as hell shouldn't be angry. He agreed to help us. When he learns what's happened here... Stop panicking! Here's your mask. It is worthless. It's an unwieldy ashtray at best. He's mad. I hope you've learned something useful at least. Very. I'm talking to Geralt. You. You I'll deal with later. Uh-oh. So? See what he has to say. We think a powerful curse was cast here. Mm. Plausible. Considering what happened to the wood, do you know upon whom? Not yet, but we know Ciri was here. She stepped out of a portal. A mage was with her. Someone chased them. They fought. Ciri was wounded but managed to escape. Where to? Velen, probably. The mage opened a portal for her, then he fought her attacker. Yes? Is that it? Got a feeling we've found something interesting. Just need to examine one more thing. Flying in that direction. Okay. Something's pinned under that tree. Can you? I can. Sword Nix. Ciri's friend must have. What do you call it? Vaporized him. Exquisite. The armor. Though the workmanship's unfamiliar. Can't even tell where it's from. Probably because it belonged to a rider of the Wild Hunt. What? So it's true? The Wild Hunt? I feared as much. First here, then on Hindersfjall. What did they want? They're looking for Ciri. Why? Do I tell him? I don't really know this guy that well. Like, do we? I don't know. Tell you later. It's a long story that involves the Elder Blood, Ciri's abilities. Did she, perchance, inherit her mother's skills? Ciri can do much more than her mother could. But right now, we're much more interested in what the Wild Hunt was doing on Hindisfjall. Well, it happened at least a fortnight after the Cataclysm struck here on Ard Skelly. The raids raided Lofoten at dusk in a blizzard. Itself a strange occurrence for that time of year. The islanders said the wraiths. They barged into their huts, killed anyone who resisted, then galloped inland, laughing fiendishly. Anyone survive? A dozen or so women, and an old man. Next stop, Hindosfjall. I'll meet you on the beach near Lofoten. Okay, all right. Let's go. Wait, can't we go together, right now? But you detest being teleported. Don't exactly like potions either, but I drink them when I have to. <laughs> you also drink them when there's no need at all. Very well, let's go. Stay close to me. Good luck to you. Inform me once you've learned anything new.
quite a few years since I was last on the school. But if I remember correctly, Lofton should be this way. Raised huts and fresh graves. Hmm, this must be it. Gathering of some kind. We've come at a bad time. There's no good time to talk about the wild hunt. And what if Craven told the truth? Crowded whiskers. What if he the didn't abandon us? Leave. But was me, okay. Ritual of some kind. We'll have to wait. We'll do no such thing. Dear sisters, pardon the interruption, but we've an important matter to discuss. Can you not see we're commemorating the dead? So. And we're looking for someone who's still alive. Please, this is urgent. <sighs> then speak. Well... They say the Wild Hunt destroyed this village. That is true. Though few believe us. You don't either, I'm sure. Did you see riders on skeleton horses? Wearing frost-covered armor? Aye. That's how it was. They landed on our shores in a ship made of the claws of dead men. Like in the ballads. Leif yelled to grab the children. Then they came. Cut him across his face. He tried to whisper. Only blood came out. You were to ask about someone, not prod their wounds. That's enough. What happened then? Should I stop her? Maybe I should stop her. It's like... Uh, I don't know. We kind of need the information, though. Go on. I ran out to get help, to get Leif. But so many bodies. Yoli, Ingvar, little Neki. Killing the spot. Which way did the riders go? Towards the sea, through the ravine, on horses made of bones. Bones and ice and... Enough! Get to the point. Now. We're looking Oof. for a young woman, name of Siri. Ashen hair, green eyes. I'm sorry. She is not here. Unless she lies in a grave. That is, I do not recall one by that name. But I buried so many, I may have forgotten. This... this Siri... Uh, has she a scar here on her cheek? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, what happened to her? Don't know. Saw her but for a moment. Right before... before it all. She was in the stables. With Craven. A thousand curses upon him. Remember anything else? Anything at all? Only that she seemed tired. Very tired. And... And her hair was wet. Great. So we know she bathed. Progress. <laughs> I'm sorry, Scar. Craven. Okay, Yennefer. My apologies. Craven. Craven could have told you more. Who's that? This Craven you mention, does he have a name? He did. Until the elders struck him from the saga of ancestors. It's as if he has ceased to exist. The lore forbids anyone from touching him, speaking to him even uttering his name. What did he do to deserve that? He fled from the wild hunt. He alone. We need to talk to him, even if it's not in keeping with your customs. You've come too late. He went to the garden to fight Morkvag. What's that? Morkvag. What's that? Who, you mean? The vilest man ever to inhabit Skelliger. Nothing was ever sacred to him. He attacked his own clan's lands, took gold from Nilfgaard, killed children, pregnant women. Mm -hmm. Know the type. They said he feared only one thing, the wrath of the gods. Volkvarg sought to prove how wrong they were, so he sailed to Hindisfjall to ransack the goddess's garden. This was over a decade ago. Archpriestess Ulva stood in his way. He thrust a blade between her ribs and cast her down in the mud. As her lifeblood left her, she cursed him, and Morkvarg transformed into a beast. A curse? A monster? 
You've got some work to do. Okay, fine. I can get rid of Morkvark. Don't know what he's turned into, but a silver sword should do the trick. It's not that simple. There have been those who have bested Morkvark, yet he always returns. So, it's a complex curse. Meaning I need more information. I understand. But I've told you all I know. Speak with Toradar's son, Einar. He was in the garden when Morkvarg and his men attacked. He saw what happened. Of all the pilgrims there at the time, he alone escaped with his life. He settled in Larvik. You'll find him there at the landing, provided he's not out to sea when you arrive. Cowards don't usually fight monsters, I mean... A coward who willingly seeks battle? Am I the only one who sees the contradiction? That's why he did it. Craven knew he would prove the elders wrong only if he killed Morkvarg. And thus regain his honor and his name. Trial by ordeal. Very skeleton. I do not mock your lores. Please also respect ours. Where is this holy garden? Not far from here. North. We cultivated healing herbs there once. And now? Now we walk only as far as the tree the goddess planted. We place our offerings and make our pleas before it. Those who venture below remain in the garden forever. Huh, okay, thank you. Thanks for your help. I understand you intend to enter the garden. I dislike it when foreigners enter the sacred grounds. Oh really, I mean... But so be it. Custom demands pilgrims make an offering of their own blood before the tree. Craven surely did so. Unless he lacked not only courage, but respect for Freyr as well. You needn't worry about us. Geralt and I always give the gods the respect they are due. A killer. Huh, okay. Well, let's go find Craven. Interesting. Fellow Yennefer. Quick save? Worried this trail might have gone cold. Even if Craven's dead, we'll manage. How exactly? You'll see when the time comes. You could stand to be nicer sometimes. I suppose. But then I wouldn't be the woman you fell in love with, would I? Oh? Hmm. If I this real fast. Not your lucky. Come on, day. Jennifer, help me out. Like there you go again. Follow Yen, yeah, we'll we'll get there. My my that must be Mook. A bite. Just one morsel. <laughs> one piece. A crumb. Uh, food. Uh, food. Uh. <coughs> Shank. Not, not again. Not again. <laughs> Still going. Okay. He doesn't seem happy to see us. Wait till he gets a closer look at me. So, where shall we start? Let's go to that tree the sisters mentioned. Plan to bleed yourself for the goddess? Not necessarily, but Craven did. We just might pick up his scent. Hmm. Craven was here. Look, the impression. Kneeled down on one knee and cut himself to make the offering. Bloodstains, see them? No. I may be inhumanly beautiful, but I don't have superhuman senses. Not like you. <laughs> Which is why you should stay up here. No offense, but in that undergrowth and mud, you'd be like a... Ball and chain? Plan to say it gentler, but yeah, <laughs> that's basically what I had in mind. Fine. We'll do as you say. If the need arises, I can cast spells from up here. 
Okay. See you later. Fine. See you later then. Don't get hurt. Remember, I need you if I'm to find Siri. Oh, come. I was just teasing. Fool. I need you. Period. Better? Mm. Better. <laughs> Something down there. Can't see a thing. Light prints. Craven trod carefully. Okay. Craven's blood. Flowing profusely. Trails clear. Should lead me to him. Let's follow down here. Uh. opponents using the environment? Was that an environmental kill? <laughs> Looks like Morkvar got bored of sneaking around and attacked. <laughs> going Craven was injured started running Jennifer's a bit more intense but it seems like her and Geralt have just like a lot more of a past than her interests which isn't necessarily like a good or a bad thing it just seems like there's like a lot of a lot of history there they're more comfortable with each other in a different way it seems Craven's blood. Door won't budge. Craven must have blocked it, or it's just locked. Gotta go round. Come on. I really can't? Rude. Maybe there's a key around here? Maybe. Morkvark doesn't give up easily. Morkvark doesn't give up easily. Morkvark doesn't give up easily. I can't open the door? Fine. Where am I supposed to go? Near the water? Was I going the right way? All the way around? Apparently I was. Right? Okay, so then I'm down here. Okay. Here we go. They're actually highlighting for me now. Lots of prints, old and new. His lair must be nearby. Maybe not in the water, but maybe. No. Not in the water. Ah, that's a ladder. Okay, okay. Can't cross that. Gotta go down, provided I can open the sluice. Mechanism looks pretty standard. One lever to choose the sluice gate, the other to work it. Don't think that's the one that we want. The floodgates open, but nothing's happening. Okay. Is that? Need to be flipped just the one time. I'm assuming it just needs to be flipped down. Okay. 
There we go. hate to have to swim with two huge swords on your back. That is fair. That would not be a good time. Have to be an extra good swimmer. Over here. Rills? Jumped on it. Hey, can you hear me? Geralt! Scared me! She's like, Sorry, what? didn't mean to. I hope not. Let me know once you find Craven. Craven's blood. Blood. Yep, more blood. Damn. Dead. Has been for a while. Yen, found him. And? And I've seen rot fiends in better condition than this. Shit. Fine, scrape together what you can and haul the bits up here. Oh, good. Plan? Take it, oh. you've got a plan? No, I just like to stare at rotting flesh. We'll talk when you get here, all right? That's Yen, charming as ever. It, Come on, reasonable, someone wants though. to meet you. Festus, thank you so much for that prime sub, by the way. Oof, putrefaction set in. But the vocal cords are intact. We might still get something out of him. Doesn't look like the talkative type. Anyone can be made to talk, even a corpse. One must simply know how. Thought necromancy okay. was strictly forbidden. So is premarital sex. Uh, but I'm not about to be bothered by such foolishness. Oh? Um. Need some help? Need any ingredients for the spell? Hmm. The blood of a newborn, a virgin's tongue, and the eye of a newt. Mind trying again without the sarcasm? I don't need a thing. I'm a sorceress, not a village herbalist. All I need is energy. A great deal of energy. We're very lucky this place is saturated with magic. It's also considered sacred. Priestesses will be furious if you use the garden's power to revive a corpse. All the more reason to get it over with before they realize what's happening. Oh, jeez. Okay, I mean, I'm just following along with her plan. Let's see how this goes. Let's get to work. Selene, Selene, Dufresne. Selene, Selene, Davidar. This looks good. I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh. Are you Craven of Lofferton? No, I. Should I try to say something nice at least to the to the corpse that we reanimated? You got your honor, hooray! You died in battle. You've recovered. Geralt, this is not the time to cheer up a corpse. <laughs> a young woman, ashen hair, green eyes. What happened to her? She, she's blue eyes. They, they me. I don't care about that. What happened to her? What was she doing here? Speak! No. Speak! Ah. Curse? 
speak! She fell oh, almost drowned! That's good. That was good. It's good. Siri. Zirel. Can you hear me? I can. Hmm. I must leave you now. We will meet beneath drowned dead rock. Can you remember? <laughs> Repeat it. Drowned dead rock. You're awake, and I thought you'd... Where, where am I? And who are you? It's all right. You're on Hindersfjall, village of Lofoten. They call me Skjall. But how'd I... What? We fished you out of the sea. Me and that friend of yours. Where to go? And where is he? My friend. Stepped out a while ago. Said he needed to find a boat. Why does he wear that mask? Something not right with his mug? No. He simply doesn't like others to see it. Hmm. No ray tracing on. It looks gorgeous, right? Hey, you. You're finally awake. Oh, missed opportunity. How long did I lie there? All day, near about. It was morn when we brought you in. Night's near come now. Damn. Too long. You needed the rest, desperately. Been through a lot, eh? Got some nasty, fresh-looking scars. What, you undressed me? I... I'm assuming we were wounded or something? Like, yeah, a lot of scars. Yes, I've been through a lot. I never thought women on the continent did any fighting. Sometimes they have no choice. Huh. It seems nice, so... Help... Help me stand. I... I don't... I don't think you should... Less talk, more giving me a hand. Ah, that's me brother for you. Out of sight for a second, and he's already put his paws on a girl. <laughs> Astrid, you're as dim as dishwater. You know perfectly well I'm helping her up. It's a shame, I know, but I've got to interrupt your courtship. <laughs> Come, we're off to the sauna. Where? Way to make it weird. Why is your mouth agape like you're noodling for an eel? The sauna. Girl, you was blue as a whale when we brought you in here. Your blood needs thawing. Okay. Uh... I'm good. Really, there's no need. I feel fine now. Hey! Fine? You can't stand on your own two feet. And it's no surprise with your muscles frozen stiff. But don't you worry. Mom and I will take care of you. Sorry, my allergies are very good. Feels good. I'm falling apart a little bit, but it's okay. We made it here tonight, and we're at least able to do <laughs> all of this. So it's good. <laughs> Thank you guys all for being here. I'm sorry, but I must get to Drown Dead Rock. As fast as possible. I shan't force you to stay. But the rocks are ways off and you can barely walk. You best take a horse. True. Skjall can prepare a horse for you. You'll have to wait a spell, but even so, you'll get there faster than on foot. Fine, that'll do. Thank you both very much. 
Pish posh, there's no need. Pish posh. Now come, we gotta sweat the sick out of you. I start saying Where that. are my clothes? <laughs> I've taken them already. Come on. That man in the mask. Yeah, no, Yennefer, yeah, me. no, she's very oh, yes. willing to From be considered the villain. Away. Where exactly? Okay. If it means to get to her goal, totally. Right? Like, yeah, you love how flawed, but at the same time, loving and caring Yen is. She seems very much like a multi-dimensional character with a lot going on there. Absolutely. Like, interesting. Well, I think it's also interesting, too, for Geralt, because he's also a multi-dimensional character with a lot going on. So, like, okay. Triss is a little happier, though, I will say. <laughs> uh. Surprised? I've been sitting in this fish puddle my whole life. I'd love to travel like you. Like me? No, you wouldn't like that. Trust me. He's like, no. Not like that. Keep your no. But my arm hurts. Good. Means your muscles are working. And mind the string don't catch on your nose. Ha! Ah, I know! Come on, Astrid. Pick up the pace a little bit. Going for a jog. She's like sprinting to catch up. Alright. In you go and get out of those rags. But all of them? I should think so. Okay. In you go. They're like a, a prompt here. Yes. Undress? Okay. Alright. Okay. Towel? Go to sauna. Wrap yourself in a towel. Oh. Well. Oh. Whatever. Oh, they meant. Oh. Finally. I was so worried. She'd... <laughs> Ach, Mom, you always worry. Everything's fine. Oh, it? the sauna. Mm. Yes, it's fine. Good. That's oh. good. But why have you got the towel, child? It'll just get wet. Uh... Mom, she's from the continent. She's shy. You're not. Uh, I'm not shy, not at all. What does that mean? I. <laughs> the baby, she's just. Hello. I'm I'm not shy. Let's see, what does this do? I'm not at all shy. I just wanted something to sit on. Hmm. <laughs> you expect me to believe that? Astrid, behave yourself, or I'll send you to gut fish with your pa. <laughs> Here we are gabbing away. Steam's gone. Gotta douse the coals. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, like a like a real sauna, See, right? Yeah. Back home. Have you got saunas too? No. <laughs> um I have no home. Let's be dramatic. You know, I don't really have a home. I'm a traveller. Ah, oh, that's right. Where was your ship headed? Ship? We fished you out of the sea. We thought you were in a shipwreck. Uh... Yeah, let's go with that, I suppose. Yes, my ship. We set sail from Novigrad. And what brings you to Skellige? I'm here looking for someone. Not your betrothed, I hope. Why? It'd break Skjall's heart. Oh. He's head over heels for you, girl. Sat at your bedside oh. all the day, staring like you was painted by a master. Astrid, I asked you not to tell her. Oops. Well, now the milk's spilt. <laughs> Do you fancy Skjall? Oh. Oh, interesting. 
To tell the truth, I prefer women. Uh... Do, do we fancy him? Do we... I don't know. He seemed nice. That's... I did have that impression. Like, I don't know. He, he seemed nice. Hmm. Or we could go the other route, you know? We'll say, you know, he, he seems nice. Well, he seems nice. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh my. Oh no. He's that bad? <laughs> Leave it, Astrid. Who she likes is her affair and oh, it's no. not to you. <laughs> Listen, it's lovely sitting here no, with you, but right I really must go now. I understand. Who'd want to stay in this hole? We're all related three <laughs> times over and the air stinks of fish. I can't see how you're related to anyone here. No one in Lofoten groans and bitches quite like you do. <laughs> Sit down and be quiet. Child. Sial's certain to have readied the horses by now. But before you go, you ought to take a, a quick jump in the water. It'll do you good. It's, it's quite a scene. Right, like lore-wise, yeah, she's probably buying the books. Interesting. Well, I, I neither confirmed nor denied anything, so... <laughs> I guess I confirmed her disinterest in Skjall, though. Poor guy. <laughs> she has a tattoo? Interesting. Okay. Uh, I would take a quick jump in the water. Sure. I suppose. Why not? Head through the door and you'll see the pier. Be careful. It's slippery. Thank you. Once more. And once more, there's no need. Gods bless your journey. Well, they were very friendly. Cold. Chilly. Hello, everyone. They're just having a grand old time around here. Can we go underwater? Anything under here? No. Wait, we're, we're almost regenerated. Come on, Siri. Does it not keep going? Is that the max? Doesn't look like we're regenerating anymore. Drink a shot of Freya's fire water? Wait, what? Ah! I want some of that. Cheers! Yummy. <laughs> Woo! Ugh. Oops, sorry. Okay, well, how do I... How do I leave? Can we go back this way? Right? That is a locked door. Can we get dressed? There we go. Alright, nice and freshened up. Ugh. Shoving people aside. My bad. Storms are coming. Gotta go to your mom. Oh, you're here. The horses are ready. As am I. Shall we ride? Listen, I... I hope... My sister, she didn't talk any nonsense to you, did she? Oh no. Oh no. Let's let's just be upfront. No, just said you like me. <laughs> you know. Uh, except to mention that you fancy me. Wh eh. What? But I asked her. Besides, it's not He's like <laughs> Of course. Uh, oh. You are very uh, You know what? Let's ride. You're in a hurry <laughs> and it'll be dark soon. I'm not in that much of a Is she I Oh. What does that look? Does that mean... Is that... What does that mean? What does that mean? I'm not in that much of a hurry. 
Your first kiss, oh. wasn't it? Of course it weren't. Oh. Uh, oh. Hi. Me first. Thank you. We don't have much time, but it's enough for you to learn a few things. Oh. Run for your lives. We have no time. You stay here. I'm going. I can ah. look after myself. So you're taking after Geralt, or? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, too bad he ends up dead. That's unfortunate. He's nice. You know who you trust. Oh gosh, the camera's too zoomed. There we go. Where are they? Oh, uh oh, uh oh, he's dying. He's dying. I have to make it more tragic when he does die. What was that? The wild hunt. Ragnarok? The world's end? No. Not yet. But I must go. They're here for me. Get on the horse. I'll show you the way to the rock. What about your family? You should stay. See to Astrid, your mum. Afterwards. Once I'm sure you'll make it. Let's go! Can I stay and fight them all? Faster! I'm Faster assuming they just keep spawning. <laughs> See, that one I can run over. I can run over things for, for good purposes, too. I can do it on purpose. See, they keep trying to dodge me, though. See, these ones are trying to dodge me. Oh. Ha! Just going. Why can he go so much faster than me? This horse just doesn't seem to have stamina issues. No. Okay. All right. What? We made it. Uh oh. Oh no. 
Oh no! Oh, oh. Oh, it's... Is that the Bloody Barons? Oh no, it's so much sadder. What became of that creature? Yeah, it was Where Uma. Yeah. Stop hurts! Stop hurts? What? Uh-huh. Geralt's like, what the hell? I, that look. That look. How are you feeling? Yen, are you all right? I'm fine now. The spell. Imagine putting wriggling cockroaches in your mouth or swimming in manure. That's more or less how it felt. That's cool. A little sympathy, he was nice. He could have shown some sympathy for the boy. He... That was no boy, Geralt. It was a hunk of rotting, rancid flesh that spoke through my magic. Huh. Didn't just speak. Yeah. It howled in pain. Literally, though. I know it seemed real, but it was no longer human. Do you understand? No. <laughs> I, I don't quite get it, but that's all right. What? What happened to the garden? It died. Like I said, a spell. It requires a great deal of energy. You knew it would end like this, didn't you? Didn't consider it worth mentioning? No. I knew you'd protest. Your sense you of destroyed decency the garden? is charming, but it does get in the way sometimes. She took the energy from the tree Geralt, and stuff? I know oh. we should talk. But not here, alright? I don't wish to stay a moment longer. I guess that was the source the of the power. Our garden! Yeah. How could you? We helped! Oh. And you! Unconceivable. Now, now. Don't you dare try to calm me. We'd every right to be furious. Aww. Furious. And you. You will pay for this. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Is that all? What can we will say? Will you say nothing else? Nothing that would help. Nothing that would help. I shall True. make sure all Skellige hears what you did here. Uh oh. Wait. I did this. I alone. Geralt tried to stop me. I refused to listen. Okay. Thank you, Yen. I might have known. They warned me about you, sorceresses. None shall open their door to you. None shall feed your uh -oh. hunger. And none shall tend to your wounds. Shunned. Shame. Shame. Yen, you didn't have to oh, do that. that was... But I wanted to. I'd rather not talk about it. We must focus on what Scal told us. She took the blame fully. Okay. No, she did. She took her responsibility. Absolutely. She did. Oof. Yeah, she destroyed their pretty place. 
key to finding Siri is that ugly thing Skell saw on the beach. That's what I think. You know, I saw something, or someone who looked just like that. Where? In Velen, in a castle until recently ruled by a self-proclaimed baron, now controlled by his right-hand man, Sergeant Ardle. You must go and get the creature. I don't know, buy him, kidnap him. Okay. The thing's clearly cursed. Its mind is a jumble. Can't have anything resembling a normal conversation with it. Grumbling won't get us anywhere. All will be well. A curse, please. Nothing like a sorceress and a witcher couldn't handle. Now, tell me, do you... No, never mind. What? What? I appreciate that they give me to ask, or the, the ability to ask. You were gonna ask me something. What was it? Tell me, do you think, is there a chance that thing might be Siri? Be that, Siri? Well, she's been transformed by some curse. Don't even want to think about it. No, Don't. that wouldn't make sense. The we timeline. Must. Might be. From what I know, she was looking to cure a powerful curse while in Novigrad. But I'll lose it if I try to deal with that possibility now. What? We have to do what we can. See what happens. Weird, but like we saw it earlier after Siri had already like left and we know that she was like doing a whole thing So I don't think so that doesn't really make a ton of sense to me, but maybe Didn't learn much though Though we can be sure Siri's not in Skellige anymore. Oh good. Not in Velen or Novigrad either. She's disappeared again Perhaps we should re-examine what we've learned We might have missed a clue that would push us forward certainly hope that's the case uh, makes me wonder what she's gotten herself into. Can't even begin to imagine. But we will pull her out of it. Safe and sound. That I promise you. Okay, so now what? Ciri's trail in Skellige. We followed it, exhausted the possibilities. Might be time to go back to the continent. Before you do, there's one thing. It's important. What's that? Let's meet in Larvik, at the Warrior's Hall. We'll speak there. Yeah, okay, all right. So let's see her in Larvik. Fine, Larvik. See you there soon. Perfect. Thank you for that and for your help in the garden. I'd not have managed without you. She did need a it source for her magic. Geralt, you know me. I'm rare to praise, but when I do, it is sincere. Ooh, look at that little smile. Oh, Geralt. Geralt, bless you. Faster. Oh, so it looks like I can go with her? Wait, wait, wait. Wait, I want to follow her. Decided to keep me company. Yeah. Never know what might come to you deep in a dark forest. You think someone may wish to hurt me? I think I should warn off anyone who'd be dumb enough to try. New quest, ugly baby. <laughs> the last wish. Okay, so... Oh, it just failed me on the accompany her. Did I fall too far behind? It just failed that. Rude. I feel like the move is not to do this super important quest starting at 2 in the morning. Thoughts? <laughs> yeah, so I... Okay, so before we do anything involving this, I think we should go wrap some stuff up on Skellige first. Okay, so let's pick like maybe like one more little side quest or something to do for today and then we will come back and do this whole thing with Yen, I'm assuming. So it looks like we're, we're coming down to it, like we're officially going to be making our choice. Triss or Yennefer, I think. <sighs> I don't really know. I kind of like... 
Geralt and Yennefer's relationship. It's very interesting, but like, Triss and Geralt's relationship is a lot like lighter. But like, even that's not to say that like Triss is not like pretty gnarly in her own right. So like, you remember the whole fingernail thing? Like that was like a whole thing. Um, they're just very different. Yeah, so we just have to do that before the ugly baby. Okay, okay, cool. So let's go just pick a side quest or two, do that, and then we will be prepared to do this when we come back. If we choose Yennefer. Which I'm like, leaning towards right now? I don't have my heart set, but I think I'm leaning a bit more towards Yennefer. I was leaning a bit more towards Triss, and I'm leaning a bit more towards Yennefer. So like, I don't know. I don't know. There's also four side quests right here. Why are there four? Okay, so we're gonna go maybe do... Craven. Yeah, there was that whole thing. Okay, Morkvarg, we were still doing that. So let me continue on this bit. Talk to Einar about the curse. So this is kind of continuing what we were doing. This is nearby, so let me see. Let me see. One of those is horse racing. Okay, I'll come back and do all this stuff. I'll pick all this up in a minute. But we already have enough quests on our quest log, so I'm like, okay, one thing at a time. Yara, you dimwit! Drop one more and I'll keelhaul you! Yeah, so they don't like me here Got now. Got a minute. At all. Preparing my boat, can't you see? Nilfgaardian dogs were to hunt us some. Got bigger game in mind. Morkvarg. Ah, so them's your apples. All right, ask away. In praise of Freya. So, yeah, the garden... You were there when Morkvarg raided the garden. Heard you alone survived. True. I managed to flee. Great Mother was looking out for me that day. Mm hmm. Bet she didn't give a lick about the priestesses. Apparently. Morkvarg had them bound, then slit their throats like horses for the sacrifice. And he laughed. Understand? He laughed. But Archpriestess Over cursed him with her dang breath. You are beastly now. Remain so forevermore. Ah, saintly woman. Uh, okay. Didn't want to help them. Or... Didn't help the priestesses. Why not? How could I? Alone against a dozen raiders that... Why are you staring? Just wondering. You people, obsessed with honor, courage, and so on. Are you just cut and run? Strange. I ain't proud of it. Since that day, I've been seeking a worthy death at sea. Seems the goddess, she's not seen fit to summon me. Yet. Don't like this? Huh. What happened to Morkvarg? Hard to believe, but fur rose through his skin and his mug stretched forth into a muzzle, like a dog's or a wolf's. He howled, long and grieving, then lunged at his men. They tried to run, but he was fast as lightning. As he killed them, clamped his jaws round their throats, they turned to ash, ash. just like that. Ash that seeps from twixt his fangs. Not good. Curse must be complex, multi-leveled. Such is the Great Mother's power. Huh. Thanks for your help. Goddess, guide your sword. Okay, so let's go Wonder run over and try and find him. Oh, okay. Key, Ramond. Where's the key? Okay. All okay. I have in the chapter house. The crate, but the key. Where's the key? I was asking the same thing. Why so silent? 
Robert, you thief, you rogue, you whoreson, you worthless bastard! I will find the key without you, idiot, stupid prick! Okay, hi. Hide your stench. Okay. Well, we got him. Willing to talk now? Only now can I. Such is the curse. Uh, makes me bite, uh, scratch, mangle, uh, till I drop. Uh, you've got time before the blood's gone from me and, and I return. Listen uh, uh, carefully. Uh, undo, undo the curse. Uh, free me. Uh, finally, I will, I will reward you. Uh, reward? <laughs> Mentioned a reward of some kind. Looted. <laughs> Raided, drunk most away, all but one. True treasure hid away, yours. Just help me. Oh, okay. It's kind of interesting. You can just kill him, but like, I don't think that's gonna be helpful. So, sure, I'll help. So, no joy in being a werewolf? Nay. <laughs> it's the worst. <laughs> Not <laughs> the garden <laughs> to which I'm bound, even. <laughs> but uh, the hunger. <laughs> Anything I devour <laughs> turns to ash. <laughs> ash I cannot eat. <laughs> I cannot drink, yet I bloody live and roam and prowl. Oh, that sounds terrible. The hunger is terrible, ah, terrible. I bite my own flesh, but the smallest morsel burns in my throat. Throat like boiling tar. Everlasting hunger, classic as curses go, goes to explain why all those corpses went untouched. Help, or I'll return to shred you, rip your limb from limb. <sighs> This is good. Ah, alright, I'll help. See what I can do. See and do, or I shall return. Feed him? Feed him? He can't eat, though. Okay, so it's clearly I'm supposed to give him something in particular, right? I'm assuming it. I don't know. I'm gonna try to give him like some alcohol or something. Like, what? You want? You want a beer? Oh no! Don't take five beers. No! 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 Give me that. Oh, or I guess take five beers. Uh. You want some candy? Maybe, maybe some of that? Can I like split it? I don't want to give him all of it. That's worth a lot.
Oh. Oh. Well, he gets a beer along with his rotting flesh. There we go. <laughs> See if we can do this the easy way. Morkvarg, of my own free will, I offer you this fare. Now dig in. Won't turn to ash. Won't know until you try. Come on, a spoonful for daddy. Uh, what? Fuck! <laughs> This shite again! I don't think it worked. Farewell. See you soon. The beer didn't work. I'm actually pissed off. Wait, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Is he alive? Uh. Grab from below. A cave? Oh, so he did die and he will return. Oh, so that's what he was saying. Okay. Well, um... Draft from below. A cave? So I apparently need to get underneath? Is what that's telling me? Anything sneaky? Ideal friend. Patient. Doesn't mouth off. that back to yes I cannot see how am I supposed to see oh my gosh what am I supposed to do what am I supposed to do what cave? I can't see. Oh my god. I hate that. It's okay. It's fine. We figured it out. I don't let- Get rid of the stupid bubbles! Making me dizzy over here. Goodness. Bones fell through the crevice years ago. Cool. There's moving here. Must be another cave above or way out. Yep. Okay, so now we get to go through those locked doors that I could not figure out. Quickly now. Potion? I probably do. Okay. Go, go, go. Run, run. All the way back around. gonna come in here at some point. Kyostar the Wise has proven unworthy of his moniker. He paid me not to attack his village, and then, pleased at his own cleverness, called off the watch. Never had easier work in my life. We split slit the men's throats in their sleep. Club the women till dawn. Not much loot, but primo entertainment. 
What a gem. When we were sailing from Moranavig, we heard owls hooting, an ill omen, so I ordered us to turn back to shore. Puke laughed about how I'm supposed to be so brave, yet I'm a fear to the gods. I tossed him overboard with a knife between his ribs, but I could tell I'd lost a bit of respect in the lad's eyes. We'll have to do something to prove I've still got the biggest on board to keep them from getting any stupid ideas. Our visit to Hindersfall was a success. Priestess is dead, monument smashed, holy tomes burned, mead, bar mead barrels drained, divvied up the silver, took the votives. Tomorrow we'll sail to Spikeroog. Lovely. That's why I lied to you about Morkvark. Go back to this guy? Okay, let me go run back over to this guy. Greetings. Praise Freya. Yeah, praise Freya. Um, so, hmm. Liar. What? I swear it on the great mother's tits. Cut the act. Don't buy your piety one bit. You were one of Morkvarg's oh. men. Well, well. Sharp yarn. Didn't see one thing, though. Lads here around me, they're mine. Armed to the teeth to the man. Let me introduce you. I mean, we can. Can't wait. You're daft. You're alone. What's your plan, eh? Let me show you. like it. You can pet Roach. You need to hold the jump button standing near him. Wait, what? What does this guy have to do with Morkvark? I... I don't really remember exactly what his initial involvement is, but we were we were sent to ask for information, and he lied to us. It turns out he's like working with him. So I'm saying I I could really benefit from like a log of everything that's happened in a lot of these quests. Whoa, there, Roach. There's a side quest up there, but let me stay focused. wondering. Thank you. You know, he was one, one of his men once with the fang, right? I don't really know. That is a good question. Right? Like, why would he have that? Like, the guy who, like, cursed him or something? Like... Wait, where's the entrance to this place? Morkvark doesn't give up easily. No, it's not. Morkvark doesn't give up easily. No, that's not it. Yeah, so I can't go in there. Here we go. Prince leaped to 
the well. Guess Craven didn't want to be eaten, preferred to drown. to just wait another day now? Oh yeah, Roach is a she. Someone had mentioned that. Morkvark doesn't give up oh, easily. Oh wait, is this a body right here? Oh, this I did not see. Oh my gosh, okay. Thank you. No signs of violence. Must have died of hunger a while ago. Must have been here when Morkvar raided the garden. A key could come in handy. So let me go back over here. There he is. All right, did the priest discurse Markvar? No, it sounds like that dude definitely did. Assuming we were going to be giving him the fang. Werewolf meat? Is that gonna be... What... Helps? I guess let's see if that helps. Have a bite of this. Ought to lift the curse. Said the Sim. Last you were here. This is different. This'll work. Better be true. Or I'll grab you. Shred you. What? What did you do? That was your own flesh. As far as I know, curse doesn't allow for that. Or son. What did that do? What did I do? What did I do? Uh oh. I don't know. Hardly. Wanted me to lift the curse? Well, you're welcome. Uh. What? I am still confused. Um. That is a quest I'm gonna have to play through again to have any idea of what the hell is going on there. I. <laughs> What? I mean, okay. Polymorphy? The little isle heart, yes. Uh, so he turned into ash? So I didn't really help him. I killed him, though. 
I'm assuming there was a different way to handle that. There was maybe a little bit of a happier ending. Yeah. Yeah, you can turn him into a human again, I'm assuming. Yep. Um, no, I do not think that that is the best possible outcome. That did not seem like a happy, you did it! <laughs> so it's like a, oh, you, you've done it, huh? Oops. Oh, I'm just supposed to go run over there. Okay, never mind. Okay, well, let's finish this weird quest up. I see why you guys were saying, oh, this quest. I see. And then he starts bragging about the. Yeah, I would assume he's not such a nice person from what we found, so. You know? Oh well. With us one more week, Crazy. You who grant us greetings. Hi. What may I help you with this time? Oh. Mark Varg, got a few She's more a questions. Little nicer than I expected. Oh, could I have asked her about the curse? The curse. Tell me more. Archpriestess Alva cast it. It bound Mark Varg to the garden for all time. So even if he is killed, he returns there. Yeah, okay, well, I did it. I'll come for my reward. But can you be sure that- Morgfarg's gone, for good. Guaranteed, or you'll get your coin back. I don't think they care about the coin I that much. I shall hold you to that, Witcher. Okay, well- You grant us love, hatred, and strength. Hey, 85, better than the 20 coins we've been getting all night. You who grant us love, hatred, and strength. Freya, here my Yay? Prayer. Freya. We did it? <sighs> um, okay, so we're gonna need to go meet Yennefer. And do some other things around here. So, we're prepared nicely to continue here. Um, and then we also have some of these other things. So, basically, when we come back, we're gonna finish up side quests here in Skellige that are around our level, at least. Um, and go pick who we are gonna end up with, you know? We'll have to go pick. We won't do this until we do like a bunch more things. So that will be, I doubt we're gonna get that, get to that next time, but like probably like the next, next time or something, you know, something like that. So, okay. Um, you guys, my brain is mush. It has been lately, apologies for that. But I'm happy that we made it here tonight for as long as we could. I know the stream crashed and, or well, it, it didn't technically crash. The audio crashed, so then I had to end the stream and restart it. It was a whole thing, so it's okay. Um, it was a fantastic night. Just here with you all. Um, I think this is a good place for us to save and come back and keep going.